Firstly, we, we have a country where unemployment is a big problem. It's a big challenge, we have especially youth unemployment. The good thing about tourism is that it is a very employment-intensive sector, industry, if you like. And so as tourism grows, job opportunities follow and business opportunities follow. So that's why we put such a, a, a high premium on growing the tourism sector because we we, we know that it's, it's employment intensive and creates the kind of jobs that are necessary. Tourism does a bit more than that though. Um, you know, it, 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 um, the, the benefits to local communities are not, don't only lie in jobs, but it lies in small entrepreneurs being able to respond to those opportunities, farmers being able to produce the produce, services provided from, from communities, guiding services if you like in our townships. So a host of activities follow from tourism growth. So it, it makes a very, very big difference to communities. I just want to say one thing. Um, tourism also, ironically, is good for the environment. It can be bad, but if you exercise responsible tourism, it can be very good for the environment because it's the environment that is the attractor. So for example, for conservation, once communities embrace the fact that tourists who, that come to conservation areas um, create jobs and opportunities, the community has a real interest in being part of the conservation effort. So, and that applies to other parts of our ecosystems and our environment. Uh, when, uh, when tourism offers tangible benefits and it's related to the integrity of the environment and the upkeep of the environment, communities become much more active participants in looking after that environment. Uh, this is, we are celebrating the 150 years of Mahatma Gandhi and you know India has had and South Africa have this connection, the Mahatma Gandhi connection. So is there anything would you like to say on that, especially since our Republic Day is just around the corner? So is there anything special that South African tourism is doing? You know, I have been to uh, where Gandhi's printing press was, uh, Inada uh, route. So is there anything like you would like to say on this? Yes, I, I mean a few things actually, because Mahatma Gandhi represents um, a sort of a, the, a part of the, the great South African struggle, the liber, uh, liberation struggle that went, goes back many years. So some of the things done by Mahatma Gandhi during his time in South Africa sort of acted as a catalyst for many other things to come. So we have an Indian community, a substantial community of people of Indian origin living in South Africa, most, most of whom came as indentured labor many decades ago, but their ties with India in many cases are still there to particular villages in India, etc. So, but the Mahatma Gandhi celebration is very important to us. I, for example, every year I do what we call the Gandhi Walk, and I do so because I also serve on a, an NGO in South Africa called the Amat Kathrada Foundation. Who was Amat Kathrada perhaps less known in India than Nelson Mandela? But Amat Kathrada was one of Nelson Mandela's closest friends and comrades. And they served for 27 years, they served in prison together. And they remained friends right until the end. Amat Kathrada sadly passed away about a year ago. I'm the chairperson of the Amat Kathrada Foundation. But in honor of Gandhi, of Mahatma Gandhi, we do the walk every year. And our current president, Cyril Ramaphosa, did that walk last year himself. Next year, or this year, 2019, he and I are going to do that walk together. Thank you. Thank you.